This week on Boring Gear Reviews, we have The Wharf by Tark Audio. Thank you so much to Mark for sending me the wharf. Tark Audio is a pedal effects company based out of Portland, Oregon, and they were started in 2022. So the wharf is a high gain op amp overdrive that was initially designed for bass, as it says right here, bass overdrive, but it is equally at home with guitar. The controls are dead simple. We have a volume knob, which controls the output of the pedal while it's on. We have a tone switch, and in the down position, it's a very dark, warm sound, and when you flip it up, it gets much brighter and uh, aggressive in the top end. And then we have this huge drive knob in the center. If you've been subscribed for a while, you know how much I love giant knobs on pedals. And this controls the sweep of the gain in the pedal. So counterclockwise, you have basically no gain. It gets like a, just like a dirty breakup. And then all the way up is increasing the gain and it gets really, really thick, very, very fuzzy. It's awesome. Mechanical true bypass switch on the bottom, top jacks and power, and that's it. This thing is super well built. Um, unbelievably easy to use, and there's no bad setting. Spoiler alert, it sounds fantastic. For today's demo, I'm using my 1983 Greco RR65, and this has Cream Tone A3 Deluxe pickups. All right, so in this first setting, we're gonna max everything. So max volume and max drive, and we're gonna have the tone in the down switch, so the darker setting. What's nice here is I'm gonna start with the volume rolled back on my neck pickup, and here it's, this setting in general is like instant doom guitar sound. So it has that kind of very punchy uh, low mid with not any like sort of like super aggressive high, but there's still enough detail. What's cool is that while it's while I'm playing in the neck pickup with the tone roll uh, with the volume rolled back rather, you get these really beautiful harmonic overtones. It almost sounds like there's another signal happening. It's really, really cool. I did, did not expect that at all. And then I will roll up the volume and switch to the bridge pickup and you'll hear how kind of uh, thick and chunky it gets. But again, still like super articulate, a ton of character. Uh, this pedal has a very, I use this term a lot and I don't know if it, <laughs> if it makes sense to anybody, but it has a dry sound. It's, it's super gainy, very saturated, but it doesn't sound, I don't know, wet? <laughs> wet overdrive. It's a dry sound. It sounds awesome. Um, anyway, enjoy.
All right, in this next clip, we are going to use a low gain setting. So we're still gonna keep the volume max. And then, you know, a lot, a lot of times with drive pedals, I like to max the volume just because it I feel it gets more kind of open sounding. And then the more you increase gain, the more kind of pushed and crushed the distortion sound gets. And that's just a sound I really love. And we're gonna have the drive around seven or eight o'clock, and then we're gonna have the tone switch in the up position, so the brighter position. And you'll hear it first, so you'll just hear the wharf by itself, very nice semi-dirty guitar sound. And then I'll turn on the Old Blood Noise Endeavors screen violence. If you'd like to see a full demo of the screen violence, click the link up here. And in this case, we're just gonna be using the reverb section of the screen violence. So that'll be running first into the wharf. One of the things I really enjoyed about this setting is kind of like the very dry punchiness of the wharf paired with the like super wet modulated reverb of the screen violence. It was like a really great pairing. No, no one characteristic of the pedals clashed or overpowered the other. And here I'll do like some single note picking and then a little more strumming stuff and you'll hear kind of how just digging into the wharf will increase the gain. It's very touch sensitive, which I love and uh, enjoy. So now we're going to have the wharf in like a, a mid gain setting. So we're gonna have the volume around three o'clock, the drive around one or two, and the tone in the up, the bright position again. So you hear the clean tone and then you'll hear me engage the wharf. The distortion in this setting is flawless. <laughs> it's really, really good. It has this great, I mean, maybe because it was uh, initially designed on bass, it just has this awesome, low and low mid push that you don't get from every drive pedal. So not only as obviously it's going to do extremely well on bass, but like it makes guitars sound fuller without being muddy. I often find that's a trade off with uh, some distortion pedals. If you want to add low end, it kind of immediately falls apart and gets very flubby. This uh, retains a lot of the tightness and clarity that you want in low end on a guitar. And about halfway through, we're gonna engage the Swamp Witch pedal Silver Birch. If you'd like to see a full demo of the Silver Birch, click the link up here. And the Silver Birch is gonna be set very modestly, so it's not a lot of breakup coming from this, but I do wanna show how well the Wharf pairs with other drive pedals. And you'll hear just like this kind of extra high-end saturation come in with the Silver Birch. These two complement each other really well. When I'm stacking drive pedals, doesn't, you know, in any case, when I'm stacking them, I want there to be like a, a blend of the pedals. 
I, I'm usually not super interested in like one pedal sitting on top of the other, unless the sound is like really insane. But like, I want drive pedals to mesh and blend well with others. And uh, the Wharf does it beautifully. To be honest, it pairs well with every pedal. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, but you'll hear how, how well these drive pedals complement each other. And that will all be going into the Chase Bliss and Mara CXM 1978. And here we're gonna have like a large, somewhat modulated plate reverb. That'll do it for the Tark Audio Wharf. You know, don't be steered away, if you're a guitar player, don't be steered away by the fact that this is labeled as a bass overdrive. It handles bass extremely well, it's gorgeous on bass. But it really, really is unique and special on guitar too. One knob drives are tricky, and the fact that we get this tone switch and the ability to control the output really helps sculpt what's going on here. This is a warmer drive. It's not super bright or harsh in the high end. So it's a different flavor than you're used to. And it's awesome. Like I said, there is this push and grittiness to the low end and low mids that we don't often get in guitar drive pedals because guitar drive pedals are more, more so geared toward mids, upper mids, and high end. So here is just a totally unique flavor that I found gorgeous. Built super well, Mark's really nice. I don't know, he makes great stuff. I might have more from Tark Audio coming. Spoiler alert, I do. So if you're in the market for a new type of drive, I would really consider the Wharf. It's, uh, it's great, I love it. I'm gonna use it all the time. If you enjoyed this content, please consider hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every time I release a new video, which is every week. As always, the links to everything I'm using will be in the description below, and I will see you next week. Peace.